In this video, I'll show you how to use the DCFLDD command, which was created from the Department of Defense's Computer Forensics Lab, and it was a modification of the DD command, the disk dump or the data dump command, that was available for acquiring data in the past on most Linux operating systems. So this is a modification that gives computer forensics a little bit more options to use for acquiring our data. So we're going to go ahead and click on the DCFLDD command here, which is located under the Backtrack, then Digital Forensics, Image Acquiring. And you'll go ahead and click on that option. Now I can actually run this command from any from the terminal. However, uh, when we click on the actual command listed there from the backtrack menu, we've got all the different options that may be a good reminder for us to look at um, when we're actually modifying things. Now before I actually run the command, there's a couple things that I need to do. First off, I'm going to run the fdisk command with a dash L for listing my options. And I can take a look here and I can see that I've got a couple different hard drives. The first one is this one here that's listed as HDA and there's a 21.4 gigabyte or a 20 gig hard drive. The second hard drive that I have here is this one that's listed SDA. And now the SDA is going to let me know that it's a uh, either a SCSI, a USB, or possibly a SATA drive. And then the HDA one lets me know that it's an IDE drive. Now I'm running Backtrack on top of a Windows operating system computer that uh, has a 20 gig hard drive for the Windows operating system. So I can easily identify which one is my Windows hard drive and which one is the portable hard drive or the external hard drive I have plugged in here for use. Uh, and so the HDA, this is going to be my Windows uh, computer or my Windows hard drive and it's got a partition here, one partition called HDA1 and my uh, target drive or the, the drive that I want to use for my um, copy to be moved to is going to be my SDA1, that's the partition that's on that hard drive. So I needed to look and see some of the statistics or some of the uh, data that I've got here from my hard drives themselves and so let's go ahead and make our mount point first. So we're going to type in mkdir forward slash mnt forward slash data. So there's a space between the mkdir and my forward slash there. This is going to be a folder that I'm going to use to move things. I'm going to use this as my mount point when I mount this second hard drive to the operating system. So now we're going to actually type in the mount command. And we're going to go ahead and type in forward slash dev forward slash sda1 and this is the um, hard drive that I'm going to use or the partition for my hard drive I'm going to use for the mount. I'm going to do a space here now and uh, type in the forward slash mnt forward slash data. So I'm going to use the folder as my location on my uh, computer's file system to be the mount for that hard drive partition. I'll go ahead and hit enter and you'll see that link now is now created between that folder and that hard drive. So now what I'm going to just quickly do is an MD5 hash and I'm going to type in MD5 sum space and then I'm going to do an MD5 hash of the hard drive partition that we're going to from Windows. So I'm going to do a forward slash DEV forward slash slash HDA1 and so this is the partition from the hard drive. If you want to do the entire hard drive you would just take the one out and just do HDA. I'm going to put a space after this and I'm going to use the redirect symbol uh, or the less or greater than symbol there and we're going to go ahead and tell it to go into the forward slash mnt forward slash data folder and we're going to basically call this file md5hash1.txt and so this is going to be my first hash. I'm going to take just for just to double check that my data is exactly the same when I copy things over and I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and it's going to take a few moments here for this hash to get complete. Alright, and the hash will be complete whenever you see the prompt return back to your terminal here. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to actually look at, at actually running the command itself, the DF, DCFLDD command. So we're going to go ahead and type in DCFLDD space and then we're going to go ahead and type in IF which is going to be for my input file. This is where I want to take that Windows hard drive and put this into the system. So I'm going to put IF equals. Now I need to put the location of this Windows uh, hard drive. So I'm going to do forward slash DEV forward slash HDA1. I'm going to take just the partition. If you want the whole hard drive you would just remove the one and just have HDA there. And I'm going to go ahead and hit space. Now I'm going to set the output file or OF and we're going to say that equals forward slash and this is going to be the location of my mount point so I'm going to type in mnt forward slash data and I'm going to also call this, I'm going to put this into an image if I didn't put the image down here I would try to do a bit for bit copy and I want to just do uh, copy it to an image so I'm going to just call it image.dd 
and it's a generic name there. This is going to be the image that I'm copying from that hard drive. Now this alone is enough information for me to do the copy. I'm going to add one little tweak to this. I'm going to put hash log equals and then this is going to be where the MD5 by default is MD5 hash for our copy. This is where this MD5 hash is going to be stored rather than printing it back to the screen. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and type in the forward slash MNT forward slash data and then forward slash the name of the file that I want to use and I'm going to call this one MD5 sum or MD5 hash 2.txt and this is what we're going to actually use for comparison of both of these files of my hash files to make sure that my copy is an exact copy so I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and this is going to take some time for it to write um, the hash itself takes a few minutes this depending on the size of a hard drive may take you know 15 20 minutes or even longer just depending on the size of the hard drive all right now that the command is completed and my prompt is returned I can take a look at the actual hashes to make sure that both the files are the same so you can see here now that it says records in records out and it looks like everything is great I'm gonna go ahead and close the terminal and we're gonna open up conqueror now our file browser I'm going to go ahead and navigate and type the forward slash mnt forward slash data. I'm going to navigate to that folder that I have and here's my image right here. I uh, see I can't open that from Conqueror. I've got my image there and I've got my two hashes. That was the first hash I took and that's the second hash after the copy. So if I open up the first hash, I'll go ahead and say open a session and now I open up my second hash. They should be identical files as far as my hash sizes or my hash is concerned. Let's see. So here's, this is hash2, and let me open this up, open with Kate, that uh, looks like I'm going to have it the same one. So I can take a look here, this is my one hash, and it's the same thing I've got here on my second hash, so my copy was correct, everything was finished. So that's using the DCFL DD command in backtrack 4, release 2.